way off there in the distance there's a crane and I think they're going to be putting a wind turbine up there so we're just going to take a walk through this field and then through two more fields and then we're going to go and check it out okay getting closer there's definitely a crane over there definitely a crane over there so we're going to take a walk through that cornfield and uh, see what we can see okay see you on the other side so there it is there's the big crane and somehow we have to get in there take a look at this thing so let's venture on so here we have one pit not sure what the purpose of this one is for probably for a transformer or something and uh, here we have a whole truckload of rebar yeah and over here we have a huge hole in the ground okay so they've uh, they poured this okay that's the foundation they got a pad of cement there and they leveled off the center of it okay and they got a lot of rebar I wouldn't really call it rebar it's probably this is all going to be embedded in the cement So, so there you are, this is what's going to hold the wind turbine down. Okay, see, it's uh, tubes, it's all tubes, these are all tubes here. Just plastic and on the bottom. It's all bolts, threaded rod, and it looks to me like it's just sitting on the cement, the way it's sitting right now. A big ring. Yeah. That's that. And then up there you have and it almost looks like that's made out of cement. It doesn't look like it's made out of metal, that top ring. And you can see that's what's holding it up right there. There's a nut every couple of rods. There's a nut there that's uh, holding that ring up. And they probably leveled it using that so that's it that's what's going to hold up the wind turbine right there so okay so it's uh, two days since the last time I was here and uh, actually yesterday was Sunday so they probably didn't do much but uh, this is what they've done since then. They're making a lot of uh, support rebar. And uh, once this is done, I'm sure they're gonna 
pour a whole lot of cement, probably just to cover the angled piece, and then uh, they'll probably form the the top part so it's just round sticking up and that's this is my assumption this is what they're probably going to put the wind turbine on but uh, yeah there it is looks like uh, something pretty massive eh there's still some rebar yet so they're not finished they've got more to do so I'm sure they'll be all day tomorrow yet and uh, yeah. Anyways, oh, see something else over here at the back. I've got all the conduit for all the uh, the wires to come out, all the cabling. So that's going to come out the back over there. So yeah. Just to try to get an overview of how big this thing is. Just for scale. There's a semi-trailer over there. Look how massive that thing is, eh? I believe it's been uh, four days since the first video day five that would make it and uh, yesterday I was here and they had that ring installed around the perimeter and uh, they put the uh, the PVC conduit in and uh, look like they were ready to pour cement and as you can see they did and like I thought, all they did was they just poured the cement. They didn't uh, make any forms for it. That outer ring, that's pretty much the only form that they're using. And uh, it's just the natural slope that the cement wants to sit at, pretty much. You can see it some places. It's, uh, it's bulging a little bit around the perimeter in some places. In other places, it's sunken in a little bit. But uh, nonetheless, all the rebar has been covered. Now, my guess would be that uh, tomorrow, or whatever, they'll form up the rest of it, and then they'll do some more pouring. This is my assumption anyways. I have a funny feeling this conduit is going to go over to that other slab of cement that I saw they had formed up. So... So there you go. I hope you can hear me okay. It's kind of a windy day and I'm kind of shielding the camera with my hand so hope it's working out okay. But nonetheless you can you can see what's going on here. So see if I can get a shot from another angle yet. So anyways I'm going to come back tomorrow and see what else they've done. I see they still have more rebar down here yet to go in. And uh, they haven't really done anything with that over there. So hopefully tomorrow we can check that out. Okay, until then, take care. Okay, so today is the 10th day since I was first here and uh, you can see they've got the other forms up now looks like they're getting ready to pour tomorrow and uh, I think then they will be done with the cement and there's the form there where everything's coming out they'll probably have a transformer sitting on top of that and then the tower goes on there. You see they got their ground wires sticking out. And they took the form off around the outside of it. As you can see all around that's gone. 
So uh, probably tomorrow when I come here, there's going to be some more cement poured, I would think. So it looks like they poured all the cement today. And uh, I would imagine in a day or so, they'll take the forms off. And that'll be it for the cement, I would think. And then uh, in a few days, they'll probably backfill all of this. And that will be it for the cement work, I would think. Even though I still see a lot of rebar down here that hasn't been used yet. So maybe there's more. I don't really know. But uh, time will tell. It's been two days since I've been here. Couldn't make it out yesterday. Just the timing didn't work out. But as you can see, they've uh, taken the forms off and they've uh, started to backfill it. And uh, there's the excavator and the packer. So they're obviously, they're putting the, the dirt down and they're packing it as they go. Bit of an aerial shot. Got an excavator, packer, and over there they got a dozer. So they'll pack it all in, backfill it, pack her down, nice and tight, have all their cables underground, and the only thing you'll see is the tower and the transformer, and that'll be it. So it's been a few days since I've been out here. Last time I was here, they just uh, took the forms off and started backfilling this. And uh, as you can see now, they've got it all graded. And uh, looks like they did some more surveying. And uh, they put some gravel down. So, uh, looks. Looks like they're slowly getting ready to start bringing some pieces in here. So this is probably where there's going to be a transformer, I would imagine. All the conduit goes down inside, underneath the ground, underneath here, and then it all comes back up in here, and this is where the tower is going to be. And uh, looks like they're preparing the base. You can see where the rods come through, there's like a ring there. Uh, I would imagine they'll put something there, some kind of a, a base. I'm just guessing. I could be wrong. And then they'll mount the tower to this. And uh, those are some big ass nuts. Yeah. See the thread is uh, kind of a rounded thread. It's not sharp at all. I think they, uh, I think it's a rolled thread, not a cut thread, for strength. And like I showed you before, they're just sitting in a plastic uh, pipe going all the way down to the bottom. And it's probably 10 feet down is how long those things are. So, anyways, that's where they're at now. I'll have to pop out here again and uh, see what kind of progress they're making.